You're viewing WinTV and WinTVWorld.com. I'm Shirvani Sukhai and we're here yet again at the home of another one of the major legends of Chutney music who will be honored this year as part of the Chutney Soka Mona competition 2013. We're here at Arena Road in Freeport at the home just outside the home of the Raja of Chutney. Everybody knows him as Mr. Rakesh Yankaran. Here to find out more about him his early life, what are his plans for the future, and most importantly, how he feels this year being honored as one of the legends of Chutney music. Let's go. He is the king of all kings. From Arena Road, Freeport, Trinidad, the Raja of Chutney, Rakesh Yankaran. A most distinguished and highly acclaimed name when it comes to bhajans, film songs, Indian classical singing and predominantly chutney music in Trinidad and Tobago. His remarkable voice is one that's savoured by all, wherever and whenever he takes the performing stage locally, regionally or internationally. But where did his most amazing career start and who was responsible for his alias of the Raja? This name was given to me by Ajit Prem Singh because Ajit Prem Singh is the one who produced most of my series. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, when I make all this like Jani Wale Dolahin Mousi, and you know, people buying it and they, and they commenting on the, on the CD how mm -hmm. good it is, you know. And the governor always looking for my CD, then Prem Singh gave me the name Raja. Okay. I see. So, you know, we must say thanks to Mr. Ajit Prem Singh. He has truly been responsible for promoting Chutney music in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, he promotes most of the artists in Trinidad. Yes. And um, he produces good, good Chutney. Yeah. You know, good traditional Chutney. Well, the Raja Rakesh Yankaran. Woods. I, I don't know how to describe this guy. He's uh, soft spoken. He, uh, a thin guy with a big heart, you know, uh, and um, he comes from a multi talented family too. And my first recording I did with Rakesh Yankaran, I remember, I said, boy, your father was an icon, and let's pay tribute to him. And we did his first LP, A Tribute to Dad, where he sang his father's favorite songs, which became a mega hit in this country. And after then we did bhajans, and we, we went to Chutney, and the Raja, have become an international star. He's popular every year. His songs, whether it's played or not played on the radio, just like Irani, always got the good jobs. All how the Raja is here, he's a household name in Trinidad and Tobago, and throughout North America and Caribbean. And he was fortunate to go to India because I was mandated to, to pick a group to go to India. And, and, and Rakesh and Irani, the Raja and Irani, they make it the biggest hit because they were the, were the Trump on all the programs. Anywhere we perform, they, they did a great job. Also, Lily Ramchand went and Molly and others went, but you know, the, the Raja and Irani, they, they make a big impact in, in India. He was born and brewed in Brickfield, Shigonas, and then seven years ago moved to Arena Road, Freeport. He says singing was always his passion ever since a child and went on to speak about the Yankaran line of siblings who are all involved in culture. Okay, now, of course, I needn't say this. Everybody knows that you come from a family of well-renowned musicians, singers. One can probably say that you were born with the genes, it's in your blood. Did you really have a passion for this singing as a young child? And how was it growing up amongst your brothers, sisters, your father? Well, I, I love singing since I was small going to school. Mm -hmm. um, I started singing in temples, mm -hmm. then in schools with choirs and things on school. And then my father was a great singer and I started singing through my father. Okay. What was his name again? The late Isaac Yankaran, the, the man with the golden Isaac voice. Yankaran, yes. And then I started singing in temples, singing bhajans. Then I started singing classical songs and playing my own harmonium mm -hmm. and going out in farewells, singing. Mm -hmm. Then I started to tour with chutney music. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I see. So, where do you fall in the line of uh, brothers and sisters? Have you any sisters? You have sisters? Yes, yes. Yeah. Five brothers and two sisters. Right. So I am the fourth child. You are the fourth child. Yeah. So, somewhere basically in the middle. Yeah. Okay, and that was your family then. So your brothers would be Anand Yankaran, yes, Sham Yankaran Shami. first, mm -hmm. Suresh Yankaran, mm -hmm. Ashok Yankaran, Rakesh Yankaran fourth, and then Anand smaller than me, mm -hmm. fifth. Then I have um, a sister Devika, mm -hmm. then Sureka. Okay, and all of them are involved in, in music. singing. Yes, singing. singing. Yeah. That's excellent indeed. The Raja, however, took the opportunity to praise his wife Sharda and eight-year-old daughter Renuka for their pivotal support roles in his life now. He said when he saw his wife Sharda a few years ago for the very first time, it was love at first sight and he immediately knew in his heart that she was the one. You know what his life is that um, <laughs> when you see one woman and your blood take them, you have to you have to straighten up your life sometimes. Right, as soon as you saw and, her, and your mind just told yes. you, okay, that is the one. Yes. <laughs> yes. And when I see my wife Sharada, uh -huh. I fall in love and um, I couldn't resist okay. up until today. As they say, kuch kuch hota hai. Yes, yes. <laughs> During his primary school days, the Raja Rakesh Yankaran was a budding cricketer, but still, music stood out as the one and only profession that was to later span his career. I love playing cricket. Uh -huh. I used to play cricket. You know, in my village, me and the boys, mm -hmm. and you know, we play cricket and we had a nice good time, you know, playing cricket. And I was a good cricketer, but I just had was to choose to play mm -hmm. cricket or to sing, but I was still singing. Well, undoubtedly, you would have been very handsome and you still are <laughs> playing cricket thank you, thank you. as a performer, as an entertainer. I'm sure you would have had a long line of ladies waiting, lots of applications. Yeah, yeah, what? but that, that the bother me because me and my wife just live very good. and. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, being an artist outside, there's plenty of women that want to be after you. Yes. But they don't want to be after you because they want to be, mm -hmm. make a living with you. They want to be with you because, mm -hmm. just because you're an artist. But you have to know what you're doing when you're a singer. You have to have your head on your shoulder. He started singing at the tender age of nine and gave us samples of a bhajan, a chutney, a film song and an Indian classical rendition. Shakti ma jai shakti ma, jai mahakali shakti ma. Shakti ma jai shakti ma jai mahakali shakti ma That was a bhajan mm -hmm. and um, I was singing a chutney <laughs> <laughs> Mausi ra soye halwa are batharwa ko je Mausi ra soye halwa and a film song Gam ke badali chai judai leke aai milan ki ra and I was singing a classical now <coughs> Dila ka fil na ho ek dam ye dunia chhod jana hai. Those are indeed big, big songs. Let's have a yeah, big yeah, round big of applause. Song. Yes. Thank you. I make about 20, 20 volumes of chutney already, mm -hmm. and maybe about about twelve volumes of um bhajans. And about three versions of class mm -hmm. classical. Okay. Do you remember, I'm not sure if you would remember, your first recorded song? The first song that you ever recorded? Um, Dadiya Modi Lele. But in the year, um, when I was nine years, mm -hmm. I sing a song um, for Dr. Eric Williams mm -hmm. um, with the band Yankan Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And the song goes like this. Muslim ke naujawano aage kadam badhao. Okay. That is in when I was nine years. Nine years ago. Yeah, and I was singing with the band, okay. and I was playing trap set on the band. Okay, so you were multitasking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I I could play harmonium, I could play tam, tabla, I could play drum, I could play dantal. We just name it. All the mu music I could play. He went on to name some of the top music producers he has worked with from the start of his musical career to now. First, when I made um, that Dadiya Modi Lele, um, I think I, I, I did that on my own, mm -hmm. and then I handed it over to Mohan Jai Karan. Okay, so you you would have worked with Mr. Mohan Jai Karan and some of the other producers. You worked um, with FM Fareed Mohammed. Yeah, he he be producing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Kevin Khan, 
big rich. Yeah, big rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, of course, Prem Singh producing you know. Right, right. Okay, so tell me, what song was your first hit? What was the song that really made you and took you out there as the Raja of Chutney music, Rakesh Yankaran? No, well, in 1990, I came out with Dadiya Modi Lele and that so was that really... that would have been the first Yeah, that bring okay. me out. That really sparked the music. Yeah, yeah. Right? I know this might be a tough question, but do you have any favourite song? What is your favourite? No, when I, when I produce I song, song and I put it out there, I love that song. Right. I don't have no favourite. So you can't, I know, that, yeah. that might have been a difficult question. Yeah. So who was his guru, who was instrumental in his training in singing, and what are some of the bands he has performed with? Learn music with Mangal Patisa. No wonder you're such a professional. Yes. <laughs> I perform with Triveni. Mm -hmm. I perform with um, my show Hari Mahabir BWI National Orchestra. Those days, yeah. Right. I perform with um, Gaya Tones, um, Dylan Adan. Most of the band in Trinidad, yeah. Okay. Mellow mm -hmm. The Raja then went on to speak a little bit about one of the milestone competitions he has entered and some of the countries he has toured. 96 or 97, I won the Chep National Chutney Monarch. I perform in Canada, mm -hmm. perform in New York, mm -hmm. perform in Holland, India, Texas, mm -hmm. Washington. And um, the shows was big, plenty of people, you know. Okay, and people really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what in 2004, okay. we went in seven different states. Okay. Madras, Hyderabad, okay. Delhi. He explained that Chutney music is really an evolution of Indian classical music. Yeah, but, but Chutney music really starts from classical singing, you know. Mm -hmm. Classical singing when people used to sing um, um, uh, something called Jumara. Mm -hmm. They used to sing something called Kemta, but they just sing it fast. And that's where Chutney come out from. So what's his take on Chutney music now? Well, most of the people um, love the vulgar Chutney. Mm -hmm. And some people love the traditional. Yeah. But I prefer traditional. And I, um, I do really like to hear the vulgar ones. Mm -hmm. And I would never support that. Support that, yeah. Because I know in the National Chutney Muna competition, when they say traditional Chutney, mm -hmm. most of the artists you know, when by other people to write songs, some of the artists come by me to write songs, okay. you know. And then the radio station was playing it, yeah. playing the traditional songs. And then when these fellas started to sing the um, rom song and this thing, the radio station started by playing it. Okay. So, so, you, you know, we, we had to get supported. Okay. We had to get supported to, to uplift this traditional mm -hmm. organ drum and dantal and, trad and, and uplift this, 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 this chutney music to a better level so people will appreciate it. You know, and we have to get support from the radio stations yeah, that, and the people. That support element is critical. Because when we lost this culture, mm -hmm. it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's gone, there's nothing, and no looking back again. Mm -hmm. So you have written all of the songs that you've sung so far? Yeah, yeah, all the songs, yeah. Okay, and you also write for others? I write songs for other people, yeah. He says of all his positive qualities, his humility as a person and as a performer really stands out. I always try to humble myself. I, 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 and be simple with people, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that I did because, you know, I carry a big name, Rakesh Yankar, and, you know, I will try to humble myself. I, I right. always say the that is the success. best. So you have, you, you have to learn to humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Learn to humble yourself because, you know, some people fortunate to have a good voice. Yeah. Some people fortunate to have a big house. Some people fortunate to have a, a, a nice vehicle and thing. Some people can't even buy food to eat in their place. Mm -hmm. So we have to be simple and try to help one another. And, be nice in this world we live in. Okay. Sing, sing good chutney yeah. for the young ones to, to learn and, and, and take up. So how does the Raja Rakesh Yankaran feel to be honored as one of the legends of chutney music in Trinidad and Tobago for this year's edition of the Chutney Soka Mona competition? I was real happy um, when um, Mr. George Singh told me that he's going to um, honor me because I know the hard work that I put out, you know, it, 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 it pain and you know, it's someone really standing up for chutney music in this country. I want to say that I really appreciate George Singh and, and, and his hard work, you know, in, in recognizing the legends of chutney music. One good thing, George Singh always, you know, appreciate my talent and always call me to be as a guest artist. As a guest performer. Yeah, girls gone white, you know. 
you know, and put me on his show, you know. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that very much. Finally, some words of advice for the young, upcoming Chutney singers. Well, as I say again, you know, the, the, the artists, Chutney artists that, that coming up, you know, they have to, um, to learn to sing good traditional songs. Mm-hmm. Or even if you're composing a song, you have so much a nice thing than singing about rum and singing, I think, how you're making polari, you're using the sill and you're grinding. You know, so much of nice things you could sing about dancing and, and we, we have to change this culture, man. We have to we have to sing positive things so the young children will learn something good. You think I, I could put on a rum song or put on a thing song and have my daughter there or my, my grandmother sit down there or my mother sit down there and have these kind of songs playing. You know that's something very interesting. When yeah. one hears the Yankaran singing, it could be Rakesh yeah. Yankaran, could be Suresh Yankaran, Surika, Anand, the Ligwit Isaac. That name Yankaran commands respect. Yeah. It commands decency. People expect a level from you guys. And I'm sure many would agree with me. In yeah, saying. because when you hear the Yankaran singing, you never hear the singing any kind of rubbish. The tune in the voice, you know, class. Yeah, you know, it's you know, quality. Right. Yeah. They never be singing composing songs and singing, you know, mm-hmm. any kind of rubbish, you know. Well, I, I wish Chutney music. Is, Chutney music is high, but it's just it's, uh, right up or just the, some of these songs and things that you know, it need to be scanned. And I feel they had to put something in place to scan these songs. Either the Mahasabha board had to come in and, and then just Chutney thing. They, they just scan these songs and then before it come out in the airways. Well, most Rajas or Kings have little Rajkumaris or princesses. So let's meet Rajkumari Renuka Yankaran, the eight-year-old daughter of Raja Rakesh Yankaran. Very good. Give a big round of applause. Sudamai O Sri Krishna Krishna Ji Kearu Mure Rama Mani Sudamai O Sri Krishna Ji Kearu Mure Rama Very good. That is a bhajan? That is a um, classical. Oh, a classical. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we could tell that she's going to be with the child just like the dad. Yeah. <laughs> and a special cousin, fan and friend of Rakesh, Intiab Ali, who was visiting from Toronto, Canada, sought to extend his congratulations to the Raja for being honoured this year as a legend. Oh, I feel like it's all long overdue. Long yeah. overdue. He's, he's been around for many, many years. His family has been around for many, many years. Yeah. I mean, there's no bigger name in, in, in Trinidad and Tobago right now than the Yankarans. And I think uh, being one of the first to be on in the Yankaran family, I think it's long overdue. So I'm happy, really happy now that they're bringing him to the, to the forefront. So what does he admire the most about Raja Rakesh? His honesty and his genuineness and, and manage, being able to stay, stick to his music despite mm-hmm. what the other artists out there are doing and what, what's popular at the time. And mm-hmm. he managed to stay, stick to his style of music. You know, the Raja again, I would like to congratulate him, you know, and his family. As the daughter, you know, I know that the Raja's son is a, a Navin Yankaran, a, a Dhola player, and that entire family t- talented, you know. Sisters and brothers, everyone is very talented in their own rights. But the Raja is number one in Trinidad Tobago when coming to um, traditional chutney, and he's very much in demand. And Raja, congratulations, boy, on your achievement. And George Singh, you picked the right person for you. For your icons, chutney icons. But we could not leave the home of the Raja without enjoying a medley of some of his major hits, and he was only too happy to share them with us. Amwako dali o jolana jolawe, jolana jolawe ho jolana jolawe, jolana jolawe ho jolana jolawe. Amwako dali o jolana jolawe, jolana jolawe ho jolana jolawe. Dolak baje dam dam dam, 
Bajata Gunguru Chananana 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 Dolaka Baje Dama Dama Dam Bajata Gunguru Chananana Fling ting, fling ting, why you getting on so? Fling ting, fling ting, why you getting on so? I win this girl from China, she want to leave and go. Fling ting, fling ting, why you getting on so? Kona ranga mungawa, kona ranga motiya, kona ranga nana nadi tore bhaiya. Kona ranga mungawa, kona ranga motiya, kona ranga nana nadi tore bhaiya. Jane wale dola hin. Kushi kushi jana, lekin ik nata nata, ja ke nibhana. An insight into the life, background, and work of the Raja Rakesh Yankaran, one of the five legends of Chutney music in Trinidad and Tobago, who will be recognized and paid homage to this year, 2013, for the grand final of the Chutney Soka Monarch competition. I'm Shervani Sukhai for WinTV and WinTVWorld.com. <laughs> Excellent.